All right, guys. My name is Tyler, aka Nanogenics, and today, guys, we are hopping in with a full LR Extreme team today. A full Extreme villain team with the STR Rose as the lead. Now, I made a video, sort of the counterpart to this, the Hero Team, the full LR Hero Team, and I had a lot of a lot of comments saying this isn't a full LR team. Well, for one, guys, I could run a full LR team if I really wanted to. That's not the point. What I've been trying to do for a long time is be able to fill the sort of rainbow wheel with LRs, and it's what I was able to do on the Hero Team as of getting the STR Beerus, and now as of acquiring the physical slot LR, which is the physical LR Ginyu, I'm able to do that over here. So yes, I'm aware that it's not quote unquote full LR team, but it is a full extreme villain LR team because this is the only way to be able to run an extreme villain team is by running this unit right here or his AGL counterpart. Uh, and so that would be impossible. So I could run a full LR team if I wanted to. I could hop on physical Gohan or whatever I wanted to do, but that's not the point. It's I want to run a full extreme villain LR team. So take a look at this insanity. Freaking 114,870 attack, 112,436 HP. Now, the difference between this team and the, and the hero team is that I have dupes in every single character you're looking at on your screen. So this guy right here, there are two dupes in him. He's sitting at 76%. This guy right here, there are one? There's one. One, one, one. So 67% on him. This guy has uh, this guy has one as well, so 69. This guy has two, so he's sitting at 78. This guy has one, but I, have, I do have two dupes of him. It's just that I left one of them at TUR, sitting at 66, and then of course this guy completely and 100% rainbowed out. So with all that said, I just wanna take a look at this screen, explain more to the title, explain more to how I approach this, because I'm pretty excited about doing today's video, because I'm finally able to make this full on rainbowed out team, but let's hop in. Shout out to my dude, Sly, a link to his Twitter will be down below, because he was able to hook me up with an STR Rose, because they're actually somewhat hard to find these days. There's the full team, there's the items we're running. Now, I wanna talk about this team before we actually get to the particular event, which we're gonna take on Jiren's event today. We're gonna to sort of take a break from running uh, the do, 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 do boss rushes because I feel like we've done it a few times in videos lately and I wanted to do something a little bit different, something a little bit more maybe everyday practical with the team versus doing something that is sort of you just go in and test teams out. And I know a lot of people do that. I mean, a lot of people hop into boss rush, test teams out, it doesn't require stamina, and just hop in, grab a friend, and go. But uh, anyways, for today's video, I wanted to kind of change it up. So the way that I see this team working is actually probably a little bit better than the LR hero team, just because of how good of, su of support, basically. Uh, SCR Rose is just a ridiculous unit overall. He supports his team so incredibly well, while also outputting a ton of damage. And on top of that, Ginyu gives plus three key from his passive as well as plus 7,777 damage. Not That is nice, but it's not nearly as impressive as the plus three key here because it's a full LR team and we need as much key as we can possibly get. And this team doesn't link all that well. I mean, it's okay. The team links okay, but it's not as good as it could be. Um, let's go ahead and let's do this. We are about to get an attack all here, which is going to be pretty beautiful coming from, I mean, this is, this is a one turn situation. Like there is, there is absolutely no way at all that these guys survive this. This will one shot the topo and then I'm almost positive. It's not gonna one shot the topo. Okay, this should one shot them. Please one shot them. Come on, do it, do it, do it, do it. All right, and done. One shot it, there you go. LR Majin Vegeta being an absolute beast. I really, really think as I've thought on it more, and I get I, I get asked this question a lot. I get asked, what's my favorite card art? What's my favorite, you know, card? What's my favorite team, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and for the longest time, I think, as far as my go-to LR for favorite LR was always SSJ through Goku uh, after I after I obtained him. Uh, LR Goku Black and Zamasu have always been really up there. I feel like Majin Vegeta is starting to take that lead, you know? Like, I, I've always liked Majin Vegeta's art a ton, but I want to say Majin Vegeta is even starting to maybe take the, uh, take the lead on, on everything else as well. So... In this particular situation, luckily the Ginyu is there, so he's giving us a bit of a boost, but not that great, obviously, of links here happening really at all. But that's that's not really, like, this rotation is not really what we want anyway. Uh, let's do this. What we, what we probably ideally want is maybe... Uh, really, really, is a, is a Goku Black uh, sort of rotation. And then a Goku Black and uh, Goku Black and an LR Majin Vegeta rotation. That way the links are great. Uh, we're getting the Saiyan links and everything like that. 
Now, Majin Vegeta and Broly could both link up pretty well and do a pretty good rotation as well. Um, I probably should should have given that a go. I don't think this event will last long enough for that to happen, but that would be a bad rotation either. Uh, I mean, probably what you'd want to do if you're running this team seriously uh, would be go ahead, keep a Rosé off rotation, keep a Rosé with, uh, with your actual Goku Black and Zamasu, and then probably keep a Rosé, uh, well, man, dude, that's such a difficult decision. There are some definitely decent links. It's just like the the extreme links here are all over the place. Some of them have big bad bosses. Some of them don't. Um, fear, some of them have fear and faith for key support. Some of them don't. So it's like it's all sort of over the place here. Um, for the sake of the fact that we've seen this sort of together so much, I'm gonna actually do it like this. Ooh, 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 ooh! Some single target damage. That's gonna be beautiful. He doesn't walk away from this, so it's really not that big of a deal. And on top of this, those guys being linked up and all that key support, it's pretty much guaranteed almost every single time that LR Goku Black and Zamasu are going to get their 18 key off. Which just adds more fuel to the flame of how incredibly good STR Rose is. And the thing about it is you don't even you don't even need these LRs to force team to be great, right? Like his team can be awesome without LRs. And that's what's kind of sort of cool about running these teams like this and sort of saddened me because I wasn't able to find an STR Rosé. I actually tried a lot. Uh, one of you guys suggested, I can't remember who, who it was, one of you guys suggested what I should do is load up a team and be able to hop into Super Battle Road and that way it puts whatever unit I'm looking for at the top. So I could go into Extreme STR and it's going to always give me Extreme STR units at the top and then when I find one, don't select it, back out back out and go to the event I'm wanting to do and he will still be there because if you don't select the unit as long as that person doesn't change their lead and the time that you're moving from Super Battle Road back over to the event you're trying to do, it will still be in there and it'll still populate the same friend list that you'd seen before. So as long as you don't select him and run into battle with him since you can only use a, a guest or friend once per day, he will still be there later, which is pretty legit. So. Uh, whenever someone taught me that, I was like, hold up, that is a thing I could do, and I've been doing it ever since, so shout out to whoever that was, I appreciate you, and it's definitely nice, but after sitting there for so long, and still, still, not being able to get a friend unit, I was like, I, I've got it, I've got to call it quits on this. Uh, so this right here is 8 key, that's 8 key, it's literally the exact same, so we're just gonna go ahead and pick it up. Literally one key away from doing his 18 key, however, the Broly probably is going to do enough damage and then with the rosé that it won't matter you know what never mind jiren's gonna survive this jiren is probably gonna survive this by the way guys while we're watching another broly attack as well as probably some jiren attacks and rosé if you are new to the channel you're enjoying you're seeing so far today consider going down there subscribing joining the hashtag nano fam today because there's something like on today's video because we are doing an entirely lr rainbow dot team dude and i i'm telling you this is something i want to do for a long time um, as I titled my Ginyu Force video uh, last week sometime, uh, that, you know, a year in the making, so is this team as well, nearly, because we've had Rosé for quite some time, the AGL one, and then, of course, we got him replaced with the Strength one as the lead to sort of run since he's the 120, so now being able to do this is, is just, honestly, a ton of fun and is incredibly awesome, so, uh, I tell you what, because it doesn't even really matter that much, uh, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna leave the Ginyu on main rotation, and we're gonna let him tank, we're gonna see how well he tanks, and then we already know, especially this being a 17 key from Majin Vegeta, we know we will finish him up. If, if the Ginyu doesn't get lucky and actually get a critical hit here, if the Ginyu got a critical hit, it's possible he could actually finish him off. So I'm just going to completely mess up rotation, it doesn't really matter. We have the health to sort of survive all this, and uh, it's going to be fine. Plus, the Zamasu is going to heal us next next rotation. Honestly... Ginyu tanking that for that those base attacks for that much is pretty impressive given the fact this is only a 120 team, right? Because when you're doing this, you do sacrifice some percentage. You know, if I was running a category team, I could be running, you know, 170% on something, 150%, etc, etc, etc. And so running a team like this, you're just getting that 120 boost of the team. But still, it's like, it's still absolutely insane. I mean, look at the health. 426,000 health, guys. 426,000 health. Absolutely insane. Um... I feel like I do this, and then obviously do that, and then Rosé is going to be at the back there. I mean, the Zamasu and Rosé are going to tank Jiren so well, it's not going to really matter too much. The Broly tanking really, really well. Double digits from basic attacks. Dang. Also, someone the other day, gave me, they gave me some, uh, 
they gave me some crap for running LR Broly over the Easy Aid one, but I mean, I just want to run LR Broly because I have him. Like, there's obviously, I'm fully aware that the Easy Aid Broly is fantastic, and in some situations, is definitely better than the LR Broly, but um, especially, you know, obviously if you have dupes in etc., etc., but for me personally, I just would rather run the LR Broly because I have him. He was something I went very deep to obtain, and so it's just something that I, I would rather just run him versus running the Easy A. If you know, I'm just if I'm just doing things now. If I'm sort of just wanting to change things up, then sure, yeah, I'll I'll throw the Easy A Broly on and we'll, we'll test him out, run him, and see what he can do. But uh, let's do this. You guys at least share shattering the limits. Um, yes, actually, that dang it, that's only six key. Are you kidding me right now? That is seriously only six key. What if I let you go first? You don't finish. You don't finish him off. Wait. Hang on. Oh, I didn't bring. Dang it. Oh well, whatever. I tell you what. We're gonna use one of these. We're gonna use one of these because I want Bojack to get off his 18 plus, and uh, I want you to get off yours too because I don't know that I want to finish this just yet, and it does less damage. In case you weren't familiar with that, it does do less damage. Uh, Majin Vegeta's 18 key plus does less damage to a single target than what his, say, 12 to 17 does. 17 being his, obviously, most damage he can do to a single target. Let's see what these guys do. These guys have the potential to crit, have the potential to finish him if they, they do, but they don't. Let's see what we tank a Jiren super attack for from a Bojack right now. 35,000. 135,000. I was so wrong on that. Wow. Okay. That's kind of embarrassing. Never mind. He still, he still is enough. I mean, type advantage and, of course, having the ability to crit more than enough to finish off the Jiren. But anyways, guys, there you go. That has been a full rainbowed out team, something that I've been trying to do for a very long time, and we are not able to do it. I guess maybe not a year in the making because I had been LRs a year ago. But since I started getting the LRs, and I think the last one I obtained was the Bojack, and then all I needed at that point was a physical unit, was physical Ginyu. So it's it's over six years in the making then, basically. Uh, six years. Oh my gosh, I am all over the place right now. It was It's six over six months in the making. Uh, it's pretty awesome to be able to do that and try it out on, you know, an actual sort of different event, like Jiren's event, which is one of the hardest events in the game right now. So, guys, if you enjoyed the video, consider going down there, slapping a like. If you are new here and you're really feeling it, consider going down there, subscribing, joining the hashtag NanoFam today. Guys, have a great, great day. Keep on keeping on NanoGenics and off, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.